This was like just a bunch of questions about it. And it said, how many people will be released from prison because of the announcement? And this says zero. Zero people will be announced from prison. Well, I mean, will be released from prison because of this announcement. Zero people. What? It says White House officials said there are no individuals currently in federal prison solely for simple possession of cannabis. So you're telling me that this big, whole big announcement was we're going to release everyone in federal prison for simple possession of cannabis. And there's no one in federal prison because of simple possession of cannabis? No one. Currently, no individuals currently in federal prison solely for simple possession of cannabis. Okay. Okay. Okay, so then you're like, well... You're going to expunge records for these people, right? It's like, no, actually, we're not going to expunge the records. We're just pardoning people out of jail. What we didn't say out loud or announce or type or print is that there's actually no people in jail. This is just sort of a thing to say that looks and sounds great right before midterms. And uh, if we could just, maybe we could just play this little game, this charade, for two months. And maybe in two months, after the midterms, we could just sort of forget about this shit. Which seems unlikely, because he did make the call to the states to follow suit. And it's not like he's going to hit up every governor and be like, hey, bro, I'm just fucking around until after the midterms. So don't really got to change your laws. But also, like we were saying earlier, there was no call to change your laws. It was a suggestion to reconsider. Which, like we saw earlier, people said they don't give a fuck. And they're like, yo, we think the president's shitting on American values. So the people that don't want it, aren't going to change it because of this, because of what he said. Um, so just because he's urging governors to issue the same pardons that he did, that doesn't mean that it will necessarily happen. But um, it does say that uh, even though they're not going to expunge their records, they did make this announcement. This was from... Today, this was just from like an hour ago. This says Biden's labor secretary pledges to help marijuana pardon recipients find good employment since their records are still all fucked. It says two cabinet members talked about the president's new cannabis initiative on Friday. Laboratory labor laboratory <laughs> labor secretary Marty Walsh said that the officials will be working dil diligently to ensure that the people who receive a pardon for federal marijuana offenses under a proclamation issued by Joe Biden on Thursday are not impeded from future job opportunities. Walsh told Yahoo Finance on Friday that the Labor Department needs to make sure that what the president did yesterday is carried out, adding that people of color account for a disproportionate fraction of people who have been criminalized over cannabis. We're going to work with them to make sure they can get into good employment so that it's not an impediment to their ability to get into the middle class and get a good paying job. I like how you cap it at the middle class. Not into the upper class. But at least, you know, the middle class. Give them the middle class, he says. It says, Walsh, who opposed the 2016 initiative to legalize marijuana as mayor of Boston and also voted against a Democratic National Co Committee party plank to endorse the reform, said that cannabis criminalization, quote, has been the challenge in our country for a long time where people were convicted of a minor marijuana offenses that had a record. I commend the president for his actions yesterday. We're going to work with those who are pardoned to make sure they can get into good employment and that this is not an impediment on their ability to get a middle class and get a good paying job. Um, the Human Services uh, Department said that they also talked about the directive to the agencies to conduct administrative review of the scheduling. We looked at that. So they're saying, all right, it's like a job placement program. <laughs> it's like um, 
We're going to help you, dog. We promise. We could have done a lot more for your record. We know that. And we didn't. So we'll, like, put in a good word for you. If you need a reference for your job, I'll get you a middle-class job, dog. Are you trying to work at the, uh, what, shoe carnival? You want to work at Taco Bell? Yeah, we can hook that up. I'm sorry, I mean, I'm sorry we fucked your life up and shit because you had a couple of joints in your car, but... Okay, I hope you get a job at Taco Bell now, if you like. <laughs> we don't mind doing that at all. <laughs> Damn. They could have done so much more. This could have done so much more, but... This isn't the end. Like we are saying before, this isn't the end. There's all of these governors. Most of those governors we read on that list earlier, a lot of them seem like, well, I don't know, there's a bunch of people talking this bullshit about a case-by-case -case basis, which basically means fuck the president and all that weed shit he just said. But some of these people are, are like, okay, I'm, I'm thinking about this. This sounds good. I agree. Some people are just flat out like, I agree. Some people like here in Colorado, some of these governors are like, been done this shit two years ago. And we're looking at descheduling? That. That's fucking huge, Joe. Descheduling? Nobody's been throwing around this fucking phrase for a minute. Like, you didn't, you ain't really ever heard this ever and thought it was real or that it was really going to happen. But now it's coming straight from the president. And now they're saying they're, that a, the DOJ is going to work expeditiously. We're going to try to get this done as fast as we can. So what do you think? Do you think this means we're about to see federal legalization sometime soon? Sometime like right now? I have an idea of how this might play out. Our one possibility, one plan of action that may be going down. But before I say it, I'm going to see if anyone else is thinking the same thing. Mudswat says, I hope they do. I don't think so, says Tara. Um, Stephen James says Trump could do it overnight. Biden could do it overnight. Trump could have done it overnight. He didn't. Biden didn't. Hasn't. He might. No one, any president ever could have done it. No, none of them have. I know employers that will look or, uh, at your record, and if your felony is just weed-related, they won't hold it against you. That's a good employer, Manigator. Rescheduling, not descheduling. Yeah, well, even rescheduling. Take this shit to Schedule 3. Matt, what's your idea, Matt, how it will go down, I think? It will be by next election. Oh, listen to that. Uh, yeah, Trump didn't do shit, and Biden hasn't yet. Yep, no, no one ever has. People always talk friendly about weed when it gets brought up. When they want to get elected, and you ask this motherfucker about weed, oh, he's going to sound so flowery about it. They're going to sound so nice about it. Well, I feel like marijuana is just a simple fucking flower, and that as Americans, we should all be able to choose whether we just smoke a little doobie snacks. And then they get elected, and they're like, well, you know what? As a matter of fact, it's goddamn poison, and it's addictive, and it'll make you die, and all this other shit, and it's ruining America, and we should probably just put people in motherfucking prison because of it. So this is huge news. For real, for this to come from a president, even if it's very, very delayed, delayed and it's very very little and it's much less than it should be even with all of the hundreds of shortcomings and all of the nitpicking you could do with this this is fucking huge and this is some of the coolest weed shit i've ever seen from a president that i can remember in the last recent history